Praise the Lord, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to the God Teller 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. Oh, my phone is falling here. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and thank you for being here today. Today is April 10th, um, 2022. I'm just trying to get organized here. Now, I have this prophecy um, to present today. Now, I've been hearing this, uh, I'm going to say, over the last several days, and um, there's a part of the prophecy in here. Um, that, that discusses something like weapons. So I, I actually know what the weapon is, and I googled it because it wasn't really clear on it, so I'll tell you that after the prophecy. <clears throat> uh, so join me in um, the King James Version Bible. I'm going to be in the book of Revelation. <clears throat> uh, let's start at uh, chapter 18. Start at, um, let's see, um, verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. I didn't have the Holy Spirit already, I didn't even get to the prophecy. And has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich, through the abundance of her delicacies. Or do I want to go further? Yes, let's do this one because I've said this about a thousand times. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. All right, there, there we go. I have the Holy Spirit already. I didn't even say anything. Okay, now today out there, this is cute. You might hear tweeting and quacking. Okay, now I got this um, whole thing this morning. Um, I want to say between um, maybe uh, five and seven. All right, now I'm going to have to um, scroll on here to make sure I can see it okay. America, your glory days have come to an end. Your enemies are banding together. Soon the kings of the east will move forward with their invasion plans. Right now, they are closely watching <coughs> the king of the north's progress and noting his mistakes in war. They will not proceed as he has. They will choose weapons that do not destroy <coughs> All right, where, where am I? I missed a spot here. Let's see that do not destroy the land for their interest is in your nation's natural resources. The people who survive will be put in labor camps to work for them. You have been warned of the coming wars. America the Beautiful has lost her way and has become a dwelling place for demons and every unclean spirit. <clears throat> fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. Look what you have done to your children, to your elderly, to the widow and the homeless and the poor. Your rich men live in luxury while others perish in the streets. Your leaders stand back and watch the nation crumble from within. I see idol worship, worship of strange gods, and murder and perversions rampant. I have seen every abomination with my own eyes. You will reap what you have sown. Your days have been numbered. <clears throat> Look at this, the Holy Spirit. Prepare as the seals break, bowls are emptied, and trumpets are blown. Repent and return to me. Whoa. So if you know your Bible, you know right where, we're, where he's coming from with this prophecy message. Now in the prophecy, he's talking about the kings of the east and he's talking about what sort of, he, he's telling me what sort of weapons they, they have planned on using. Now the weapon he told me, and I had to Google it because I don't remember it from high school, I'll say that. 
uh, was a neutron bomb. So that's what I looked at. Um, basically, it doesn't destroy all the um, uh, property and the buildings and everything. And, and the sad part is it, it kills people. That's what, what, what the plan is. This is horrible. So, you know we're at the end here. Um, he can't explain it any simpler. He says it over and over in every prophecy, not just mine. Um, other, I see other people out there with the gift of prophecy saying the same exact thing. And that's how it should be. Now, if you see somebody out there saying some bizarre thing, um, not based on pretty much what everybody else with the gift of prophecy is saying, um, they're not, I'm sorry, they're not hearing from the Holy Spirit. That's the bottom line. Because we should all be in one accord. I know my pastor used to have a joke about everybody coming in a Honda Accord. That was his little joke. So we should all be in one accord. That means saying the same thing. Um, so clearly, what does he say at the end of this? I think he says, repent and return. Repent and return to me. So there's your answer on who this is for. It's the unrepentant people still. He's still waiting. He's waiting to the last minute. He's still waiting for those last people to come forward. I say this every time. Uh, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in the book of Acts, Acts 2.38. <clears throat> You must have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You must know him. Otherwise, he's going to say that he doesn't know you. You don't want to hear that when you stand before him on Judgment Day. You don't want to be that person doing that. So I say this too. Uh, make sure you have a plan. You see what's going on. You know what they're planning. And, oh, I should say, you know what? Our, what does he say? The enemies are banding together, our, our enemies. Yes. And I have another prophecy that's saying that when all these things start happening, um, that um, everybody's just going to be looking at us and no one is going to help us. Nope, they don't want to get involved. That's what's happening right now in the, I don't want to even go into it, in, in politics. That's what's happening right now. Nobody's going to want to be involved. Um, they're just looking out for their own interests. They don't want to be involved. So no one is going to come to where I think that's how the prophecy is, my other one. <laughs> so have a plan. Um, so have some extra supplies on hand. Um, so have some um, cash on hand. I uh, know a, a different route out of town in case something happens. I said this before. You don't know what, what disaster or whatever is coming. Um, you want to be prepared for, I'll say be prepared for uh, anything. The unexpected. I think I have expect or be prepared for the unexpected in another one. You need to do this. Um, get a Bible. Uh, join a Bible study if you're not good uh, at the Bible. Uh, and do some research yourself. Know the Bible yourself. Read it front to back. This is imperative that you do this. Um, time is clicking by. Now, again, I said, if you know your Bible, you know what this is. We're, we're already in the seals right now. Uh, prepare, set, prepare as the seals break. Next comes the bowls. Then comes the trumpets. And I have the Holy Spirit just saying it. You need to know what's going on in the Bible. This is where we're at. Um, the TV, the nose, is not going to tell you where you're at. The Bible is. Jesus Christ is going to tell you where you're at. The Holy Spirit is going to lead and guide you. You need this. You need to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. He gives you discernment. I said this on several videos. Um, this way you can have a, how, how do I put it? Um, I call it an insight on good and evil. That's what it gave me at 16 when I got it and I didn't know what was happening to me. He'll give you insight. He'll lead in, uh, lead in, uh, guide your footsteps and order your footsteps and lead and guide you. You need the Holy Spirit with you. Giving you discernment, giving you these gifts, giving you, so you know what's going on and what's coming. <clears throat> Right, what else did I want? Before I go off on a tangent, I'm just wanting to thank everyone. Now, Alicia, I feel bad. I forgot to thank you, and it was sitting right here. Thank you for the wonderful books. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so I want to thank everyone um, that uh, supports the ministry financially so we can help others. And I know it's tough right now, but, and I'm re we're really grateful for those people that help us out. Um, thanking everyone for the um, uh, encouraging comments under the videos. Um, thank you, everyone, for the translations in other languages. Um, what else did I want to mention here before I forget? I'm distracted. I love how I distract myself on what I'm talking about. Okay, thanking everyone. Oh, um, the uh, uh, Facebook pages. Now, I usually put the link up there, so please like and follow us there. I'm not adding um, uh, um, friends on the uh, regular Facebook page, but you can like and follow on um, Gosler 7 End Time Prophecy. <clears throat> uh, Sister Barbara Francis, you can like and follow there. I usually post everything. Now, I did post... Um, some additional information on the Facebook pages, so like and follow on them, and please make sure you, that you're still subscribed or subscribe and hit the notification button so you know when we have a prophecy coming up. Now, what I'll usually do on the Facebook pages, if I have time, is um, when I'm hearing things like I did with this neutron bomb, I usually will post it and put it around on the Facebook pages. So if you see things coming up and you're wondering, like, why is she doing this? That's normally why. Because the Lord has been having me, I'm going to say over the last uh, few months, uh, maybe even year, um, before I get the prophecy, he gives me things to look up that I don't know, which is, I think, is awesome how he works. 
So I'll be sitting here and then I'll be hearing something like I did with the neutron bomb. I didn't know what that was. I remember it from high school. I had no idea. didn't remember what was going on with that. So he gives me little bits and pieces of it and has me uh, research it so I know what's coming. So you know what's coming. Okay, so basically he's warning us over and over. The time is up. Um, he's coming back. Jesus is coming back. Get your house in order. Um, get yourself in order. Uh, let your family know. Get your family in order. And my joke is uh, put them in the car. Have food. Um, they can't escape and they can talk to them. Um, they won't want to run away if they're eating. You could talk to them about it, whether they like it or not, and I, and I do it, and I don't care. I get golf back, and I don't care. Now, the kids are, the kids are coming today, and you know we're going to be discussing this prophecy because they were so um, upset with this war going on, they've never seen anything like it. And I even said, if you're out there and you're a teenager, uh, or, or I want to even say, young mom or dad, please don't watch the news 24 hours a day. It's too depressing, and it will really hurt you. Please turn it off. I did that myself. That's why I don't have TV or cable. I rarely do I do uh, watch anything. I have a DVD player, and get this, I have, of course, all the church DVDs that everybody says is like, oh, do we have to watch this? Yeah. So I leave it on there, and it's in the background. You could hear Jeremiah in the temple, or you could hear Jesus of Nazareth. Put it on, let them listen to it in the background. They're still subconsciously, I'm saying, hearing it. Do it. Their life depends on it. This is how urgent this is. All right, am I missing anything? I don't want to go off here, so I think I better sign off here. Um, because they're going to be coming um, shortly for um, lunch. So God bless you all. We love you guys. Thank you for everything you do. I hope I didn't forget anything. Usually after I, I'm done here, I remember that I forgot to do something. So just have a, a blessed and safe day. I'm watching all the rain. It rained like for days here, and the um, river is up on the sidewalk down there. And I think it's kind of dangerous, because if you're not familiar with that little park down there, you could take a step off and not realize you're going to fly right down into the river. They don't even have like little, um, I don't know what they call them, horses or whatever. So God bless you all. We love you guys. Thank you.